What is going on everyone? My name is Benjamin Nock with Monster Bass. In today's video, we're gonna focus on winter time or cold weather jig fishing. When that water temp is below 50 degrees, jigs that I throw to go out and catch big bass. Now jig fishing is my favorite way to catch big largemouth all year long. And the reason for that is I feel like you draw those little bit bigger bites. You might be able to catch more fish with other techniques, but with the jig, you're typically big fish hunting to catch giant bass. And it's a great way to catch big bass during the winter when things get tough. Now what I like to do during the winter time is go extremes. Really small, really finesse, like this striking hack attack floral flipping jig. Super finesse cut, so I basically trim the skirt almost all the way down on it and it's a small profile, small bait. I'll pair it with a small trailer, which we'll talk about here in a minute. Or I'll go with a really big jig, like this Buckeye half ounce mop jig. And the reason that I'm doing this is that this time of year, these fish either want a really easy meal Really small meal. They're super finicky, super finesse, hard to catch. So a smaller meal is going to be really easy for them to eat. Or they want something really big, something that can sustain them for a long period of time. So I'll go with a really big profile, a really big trailer, because those bass are going to look at that and say, okay, even though that's going to be hard for me to eat right now, I know I only have to eat once rather than eating 20 times and chasing down a whole bunch of bait fish. So that's kind of my theory on going really small or really big this time of year. The jigs that I'm throwing, um, my favorite is the striking hack attack floral flipping jig. The reason I like this is it's such a compact profile and I like the head design on this bait. It comes through a variety of cover really well. So when you're dragging it on the, on the bottom, if you're pulling it through wood, if you're pulling it through rock, it's an overall good design. Um, it's a horizontal line tie, which means it runs um, this way instead of vertically. And I like that during the winter where I'm not fishing around as much grass because it crawls over the rock, crawls over the wood a lot better than those traditional vertical line ties, which would be in line with the hook. So this is my favorite uh, finesse style jig. The other is a small Beast Coast Tungsten Finesse Dragon Jig. This is a 7 16 uh, ounce jig. And I like this again because it has that round ball head style profile. I cut it down to a finesse skirt and it's a tungsten jig, so it's a small profile that I can drag around and get a good feel of what's down there on the bottom. The trailers that I'm pairing with those finesse jigs are either the Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Cross, something with just a very little bit of movement, a really slim, narrow profile, or a beaver style profile like the Straight King Rodent. The reason I like the Rodent is that it has virtually no action. When you trim it down and you put it on the back of that thing, it just kind of glides and flaps as opposed to like a rage cross style which has those big kicking appendages. I don't like that this time of year. I'm not looking to move a ton of water. I just want something that looks like a craw, kind of just scooting along, being really slow and lethargic on the bottom. A super easy meal. That's what I'm looking for with these finesse jigs. I just want it to be a really easy meal, a small profile for these bass to come in, feed on, and, and get their fill with a really easy, small profile jig. Conversely, with these big mop jigs like this, this is living rubber. And what living rubber does as opposed to silicone is it's actually gonna flare out and float and be really buoyant underwater. So as big as this looks now, imagine all of these tentacles spreading apart and making this really round, big profile. It looks just like a bluegill, just like a big bait fish underwater, and it's gonna represent a big meal for those bass. Well, when this flares out, you need some sort of bulky trailer to go along with it. Now, I'm gonna bite this in half. This is a Missile Baits D-Bomb, and again, just like that, just like that um, Strike King Rodent, it's going to just have those gliding style appendages. They'll just kind of sit there, slowly undulate and move, as this big jig kind of does the rest of the work. The colors I'm going with are really simple. Um, I'm going with a green pumpkin brown, your standard cross style profile with a little bit of orange in there. Or if things get really dirty, I'll go to a black and blue. But typically I'm saying really natural colors with both the finesse cut and with the big uh, mop jigs. The other trailer that I like is a gambler uh, Mega Daddy. This is a really big profile. I'll bite it down right at where this bulb or tail starts and then just thread it on the trailer. So what I'll do, what I mean by thread it on is actually more like a chunk. You just put it right in the middle of that jig 
like this. So all it does has a lot of free range, a lot of free movement, but it doesn't really do anything but kind of just hang on the back of that jig. Giant, giant profile, catches really big fish. I actually caught one of my biggest bass ever down in Florida doing this with Mikey a couple um, winters ago. Really big profile, really big jig, catches really big bass during the wintertime months when they're looking for that really big, fulfilling meal. So those are the styles of jigs that I like to go with. When you're fishing a jig this time of year, I'm typically not flipping it up against the bank. This is not a deal where I'm going up to heavy cover, I'm not going up to a, a bunch of grass and like flipping my jig in there and moving it a ton. Making a long cast and just slowly dragging it. Maybe small hops, but for the most part, you want to let the jig do the work, the trailer do the work. Just drag it along, let it kind of sit down there, create commotion, drag it around. It's going to kick up dirt and silt, and it's going to move a lot of water with the big trailer or with the big skirt, the big trailer, or it's going to move just a very little bit of water with the finesse cut. Both ways are going to catch big fish, and uh, it's one of my favorite bites for the winter time because you can still get just absolutely smashed on there by giant bass fishing something that is a little bit unconventional so my favorite way to catch big bass during the winter time is fishing these two style of jigs all winter long if you guys have any questions or comments please let us know in the comment section below if you guys are looking for any more information on winter time jig fishing or jig fishing in general let us know in the comment section hit subscribe to the monster bass channel it'll let you know when we post more videos just like this one here. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care. Tight lines. Catch you guys next time.